listen, it is 2 a.m., okay? The day hasn't even begun, all right? Technically, it's Monday, start of this reading vlog, but I needed to pop in because I'm weak. I am weak, okay? I... In the last reading vlog, I read Vicious by LJ Shen, and I did not realize that all of LJ Shen's books are Audible exclusives, which, in my opinion, that's dirty. That is dirty. That's dirty. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I mean, I get that most people aren't going to read them as audiobooks, but like, <laughs> hello, it's Katie Coulson. Welcome to my channel. Um, and I read Vicious and it was good. It was good. It was a good time. It's a toxic. If I literally saw this guy, Vicious, in the streets, I'd be like, call the fucking police. Call the police. He is a degenerate. He is terrible. But in a book... I don't need to tell y'all. I don't need to tell y'all nothing because I am, I am unknown in the KU genre. In the KU realm, I am but a stranger. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't read this kind of stuff. So like, I'm sure, I don't know what I'm saying. Maybe he's like passive. Maybe he's like literally tame. I don't know. But this dude, he's toxic as fuck. But I was like, I had a good time reading that book. And then I immediately went on Audible and bought 12 credits. Why did I, that is so much money. We're not even going to, listen, listen, let's not even talk about it. Let's not even talk about it. It was a long day at work. It was a long day at work yesterday. It was a long day at work the day before that. We need some excitement. We need some Fights. And there was a girl at my work that was talking about KU romances and was like, I'm reading a mafia romance. And I was like, one, you read? Two, mafia romance? Three, she reads Kindle Unlimited? I was like, bitch, are you about to turn me into this KU girl just so I can talk to you about books? Yes. So did I immediately buy the second book in the Sinners of Saints by LG Chan Shin? Trilogy? Serious? I don't know. It's called a ruckus. I'm like vicious. Ruckus. I love it. Okay. So the reason I bought it so swiftly is because it's about her sister, Rosie, who has, I believe, cystic fibrosis, but she's like, can, you know, has the tendency of becoming very ill and not being able to take care of it. And I was like, oh my God, is this going to be angst? I need this book to serve me angst because I fucking love hurt comfort. I love angst. I love it. So I am here for it. It's basically like a bunch of like rich dudes, like super fucking rich dudes falling in love with like their maid's daughters. And it's kind of a fun time. Like, I don't know. I would never have thought I would be the girl saying this, but like, it's not a bad experience. Still asexual as fuck, but we love a story. Okay, anyway, this has been the... L I thought this was going to be a 15-second intro, and it's not. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to start reading that book, and I'll hit you back tomorrow. Hi. It is Monday at 1 p.m. Because, listen, you already know, I stayed up really late last night, okay? Did I go to sleep after that clip? No! No. Of course not. But listen, we're wearing bookish merch. This is my Little Women Joe quote. I'm obsessed. Um, I'm wearing this out of the house as well as, let's see if you can see it. <laughs> you can't. But I'm wearing um, like Adidas boy shorts. We're living it up here in Katie Colson's channel. Uh, we're just like bleh because I need some coffee. Listen, I need some freaking coffee. We're going to Duncan. I'm getting the biggest cup they have. Uh, biggest latte they've got. Okay. So I'm going to do that. But then I also have some stuff I need to do. I need to get gas. I need to go to the grocery store. I need to check my mail. Uh, yeah, there's a couple other things. I don't even freaking know. Um, I need to get my trash. You know, whenever you have a day off, it's like, then it's just Aaron's day, which is annoying. But I'll tell you that I don't think I mentioned yesterday that I am reading, well, the cover's not on it. And this tells you nothing. I'm reading Woman Eating by, well, mm, there we go. Nope, still backwards. Okay, by uh, Claire Coda. And it's like, I'm on page 186. Book is not that long. But shockingly, for a book that is this short, not much is 
really happening. It's well written. That's the thing. Like the book is well written. It is interesting and well done, but you would think it would be much more thrilling and it's not. So what it is, is it's a vampire. So it's a uh, half vampire, half human. And she is on her own for the first time. And she's like a college student or just getting out of um, being a college student, I believe, in New York City. And she's trying to find a blood source because she's been drinking pig's blood her whole life. But now is finding it difficult to find it because people don't want to just give it to her. And her mom was the one that had the connection. So she's finding it difficult to find blood and she's never had human blood before, but now it is seeming like a good idea. It's okay. It's okay. It's taking me a while to read it because again, like I wish there was more happening. I don't know how I feel yet. Anyway, I'm reading that. And then I also got a couple chapters into Ruckus. And it's I, it's I. It is a little weird though because it sounds like the girl is a different narrator, but the guy is the same narrator as Vicious. So Vicious and Ruckus just sound like the same guy. Not sure about that. Anyway, we are going to go get some coffee. We're going to listen to Ruckus, and I'm going to get some errands done. So let's do it. We touch, we break. Make it seem like we feel the same. We love what we hate. We lie, but we know we can't wire what doesn't grow. Give up, let it go. But we fell apart just in time. You said at least it was one. My apartment is not only a jungle, but an entire mess. This doesn't look, that's not, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a floral arranger. You know, I don't know what I'm doing, but this is the one that was in this jar and it was on that little thing over there and it was doing so great until recently, which I don't know if it was because it was overcrowded or if it needed new soil, probably a mixture of both. But I ended up having to take off about half of the plant, like this is half of it, because they were like yellow and brown and just falling off. So I took off all the dead stuff and then hopefully it will be able to thrive in here. All of these are repotted. I mean, I did a pretty good job with that one. Some of them are sticking up, looks pretty good. Um, I don't know if this is gonna live. I'm surprised that it's lived this long. I pulled off a lot of dead stuff from it, but. I'm shocked. So I put it in a bigger pot and I tried to put some perlite on the bottom. Is that what you're supposed to do? Because there's no drain hole. Whatever. Anyway, um, this one is doing pretty good. I didn't have enough soil for this. So it's kind of low, which is not good. And I only had enough soil for like to make like a third of this new soil and the rest of it old soil, which listen, anyway, um, these are repotted in the same pots. I think same. This isn't a new one. This, I don't know. I really like the way this looks. It actually, technically, it's a stew pot or something, but I really like the way this looks, but it doesn't have a drain hole. So I'm like, I might, I might just get rid of this because I'm like kind of paranoid about it not having a drain hole. And then uh, 
this is the plant that was in there that I put in here. Because I'm worried. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, so they are all draining right now. There was a plant I had to throw away, but all of them are draining. The only one that I didn't repot is the Monstera because Grace gave it to me when I moved into this apartment, which was in November. So I feel like it might still be okay. We'll see. But um, I made a huge ass mess and I just was trying to clean it up. And I literally have like, okay, so this is full, but then that is full of soil. <sighs> So I gotta take that to the garbage, and then when I come back, I guess I'll try to clean up the rest of this. But I need to tell you, uh, one, I changed into uh, out of my pajamas just because, like at like 7 p.m. I was like, I guess it's we're ready for the day now. Um, my apartment looks so weird with all the plants like gone. This is so weird. It looks like um, I don't know. I don't want to think about it. Um, so. I finished Ruckus. I read the whole fucking book today. I was doing nothing but listening to this book. There was literally three different times where I just went and laid on my bed with my phone, playing games on my phone, listening to this book. And I just finished it like 10 minutes ago. And I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I had a good time. Now, listen, I'm going to say this again. I'm going to say it again. It's toxic. It's toxic. It's toxic. Like this guy Ruckus, like he's not as bad as Vicious. He's not as bad as Vicious. But the one thing that he did where I was like, okay, okay, I, I kind of see where you're coming from, but also like, I feel like the author should have said this differently, but the two main characters, Rosie and Dean or Ruckus, uh, Rosie has cystic fibrosis and she has it like fucking bad and she doesn't have very long to live. And they said like maybe 10 years that she has to live. And that's obviously a big catalyst to the story, which I was like, oh, hell yeah. I love her comfort. Let's go. Which there's not really that much of it in the book. It's more Dean denying that she's sick. But like, but the way he says it is like, you're not sick. You're fine. And she's like, no, I really am. Like I could get pneumonia. You know, we can't be out in the cold. And he's like, he at one point, like shoves her into the pool and then he jumps in and he's like, see, your lungs work fine. And I was like, Dean, the fuck? Like that I didn't like. Like as someone who lives with a chronic illness, uh, type one diabetes, if somebody told me that I didn't have diabetes, that was just fine. Uh, that, oh, you're fine. I, I would stab a man. No, I wouldn't even use weapons. I would claw his eyes out with my thumbs. Are you fucking kidding me? But ugh, the way Dean is thinking about it is like, oh, you're not like a delicate flower. Like you're a, you're a person. And I'm like, yeah, but that's not what you're saying. You're saying you're not sick, you're fine. Which I did not like. But that aside, I did enjoy this book. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Rosie. I enjoyed the looks at Vicious and... um uh, Amelia that we were getting from the first book into the second book. I really enjoyed that. Um, I thought it was good. And I definitely thought that <laughs> Dean's backstory were with Nina, where, where this woman Nina keeps calling him and being like, don't you want to see him? Like, give me the money and you can see him. I like the way that storyline ended up going. I did not see that coming at all. I thought I knew. I thought I knew what was going to happen. I did not. I do not. And also I'm kind of like, how is there going to be a third book? Because there's an epilogue four years in the future. So I'm like, what? And there's no other sisters. So I'm going to look it up and see. I think that there's another book. I'm not totally sure. I don't know what I'm going to read next. Part of me wants to read Book Lovers by Emily Henry. But then I'm like, I just read two romances. Like, I don't know if I can read another romance. I don't know what I'm going to read. But I'm gonna take the garbage out and then come back and clean up my shit. Hi, it is midnight, same day. Um, I did start listening to book lovers because I called Grace and was like, what should I read? And she was like, cut the crap, book lovers. And I was like, okay, but I just read My Dark Vanessa and then Vicious and Reckless. And she was, or, um, Reckless? R Raucous? R Oh my god, I already forgot the name of the book. I literally read it like a couple hours ago. R 
this is a very embarrassing moment for me. Um, that second book, LOL, enjoyed it, read it. I am blacking out. Um, anyway, so read that and she was like, doesn't matter. Read it. And I was like, oh, say less. Okay. Uh, Grace approved. Let's do this. So I started reading it and I am like 25% of the way through, maybe like 23% or something. And I swear to God, the moment where I was like, I need to pop it. They wear the same androgynous perfume. That is so hot. That is so hot. Are you kidding me? Like literally she's, she smells him and she's like, oh my God, I love that smell. Like he smells amazing. Like what is, what is it that I'm smelling? And she's like, oh my God, wait, no, I wear that same perfume, but it just comes across differently on him than it is her. But I was like, oh my God. And it's called book. And it's like this like ambiguous perfume and they both wear it. And I was like, Literally, Emily Henry is that bitch. Like, she just has a way. I'm, I'm probably giving you so much vertigo running around my apartment, but it's not reading, like, a five-star right now, but it is reading, like, a damn good book. Like, she just has such an amazing rom-com, like, I'm laughing at reading this book. I am really liking it. I like the characters. I think that they're, like, interesting people. They are interesting and not just, like, goody two-shoes. They're, like, messed up and funny and and just good. They're good. So I'm really enjoying it. Um, there's not really a bunch of plot happening. Like really, actually, now that I think about it, there's like no plot. It's just two people that vaguely know each other having some bitter romantic things happening. And I kind of am here for it. So I'm digging it. I probably won't hit you up again tonight, but I will catch you tomorrow. Hi. I've got to get just the rel- Oh my god, I got the relativity of how tall it is compared to you. And uh, for reference, Grace is like 5'9". Look at that. That is insanity. Hi. It's Tuesday, um, and I completely forgot to start this day until we were already on a walk. But Grace- Hey. She messaged me and she was like, you want to go for a walk? I was like, yeah. She's like, cool. I'm coming over. I was like, okay, bet. So I had some chicky nuggets. And then now we out here on a freaking walk. And it's wild. This place is like freaking insane. Like we didn't even know this like park or trail, I guess, existed like across the street, basically from our apartment. So that's pretty jay. Um, Let's see. I think I'm like... 30% of the way through book lovers and I am really liking it. I think it's good. I don't necessarily feel like it's reading like five stars necessarily, but there's just Emily Henry. She does that witty banter like nobody else. Like she just fucking kills it. She kills it. They're so smart. And I love like the book elements where like, I, I still am not really understanding what they do. Like, I'm like, are you an editor? Are you a publisher? One of them's an editor, one of them a publisher. I don't really know. I need to get my shit together and figure it out. But I'm enjoying it. Grace loves Emily Henry. So she's anxious. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she is waiting to see it seems, what I think. Yeah, exactly. And then she was talking about her anticipated releases. So she has two anticip anticipated releases for the summer. Mm -hmm. Let them. What is it, Grace? Um, Babel. Is that what it's called? Yes. From RF Kong. RF Kong. Yeah, that's one. Um, and then I want to see, I want to read the new Blake Crouch book, Upgrade, because I love him too. Favorite sci-fi author. Mm -hmm. For sure. She told me about Upgrade. I literally didn't even know that book was coming out. It's coming in July. Yay, for your birthday month. I know. July 6th. And June 14th. 
<laughs> Gemini and Kitsa. Um, yeah, we are just taking a little little walkie walkie poo. Like, have you seen the TikTok where it's like, I'm just gonna take a little nappy poo. Yeah, I love it. Okay, yeah. Anyway, um, we're getting to civilization, so I'm gonna stop talking. So it is hours later. It is 4 p.m. and I keep forgetting to tell y'all what I'm doing. I am sprinting on the good old YouTube. I am like 49% of the way through Book Lovers. And I love it. I love it. I love it. Apparently, I'm like the only one because everybody keeps telling me that uh, Aaron and Chandler hated it. And I'm like, well, too bad for them because I like it. Let's talk about hating a book. The fuck is this? I've read two of the short stories. It's no, it's not good. And I'm about to start a third one. But I feel so bad that I'm making my Patreon, my patrons read this book. I kind of want to just make an announcement and be like, it's okay. Don't read it. Because I want to DNF it. So yeah, okay. I'm going to keep reading this and see how much of it I can get done. Okay. 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 Um, I've read a couple more stories. <laughs> and... The first one, the head, I gave one and a half stars. The which the head was disgusting. I only gave it extra half star because the writing isn't bad, but the story's grotesque. The embodiment, I gave two stars. Cursed bunny, I gave three stars. I was like, okay, I'm kind of and this horror thing. It's all right. The frozen finger, I wait. One and a half, two, two and a half. Okay, I gave the Curse Bunny two and a half. And then I gave the Frozen Finger three stars because I was like, this is eerie. This is spooky. This is atmospheric. It's unsettling. It's confusing. But I'm kind of here for it. I kind of dug it. But then I just read Snare. And I'm like, I'm going to give this fucking three and a half stars. Like, am I liking this book? No, oh, God, I swear to God. There's no way I'm going to give one of these four stars, right? Like, I feel like three and a half stars, that's got to be the best it gets. That's, that's got to be the best it gets. But I guess we'll see. God damn it. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, my love. The next one. Four stars. Four stars. I fucking liked it. I really liked it. It was very Black Mirror. Like, it was so... A Black Mirror episode. I enjoyed it. I was like, this is the kind of sci-fi horror story I'm freaking looking for. So I guess I'm going to read the entire book. Like, didn't see this coming. Y'all. I was sprinting for 12 hours. 12 hours. It is 3.30 a.m. It's like my mind is awake, but my body is so fucking tired. I have two more pages of this. I just now realized I need to finish this. Um, the, the, nothing fucking happens in this book. Nothing happens. This book is just monotonous. The writing is good, but for what? Like why? It Literally, it's so boring, but then you have the main character's a vampire. Okay, like... Uh, you gave me a little bit of spice, a little fraction of spice, which you'd think would lead into a much spicier flavor, but it's bland. This, I finished it. Do not suggest it. Do not. Um, I'll tell you, I ended up skim reading the last two because I just, I did not care. So the head, I gave uh, one and a half stars. The embodiment, I gave two stars. Cursed Bunny, two and a half. The Frozen Finger, three. Snare, three and a half. Goodbye, my love, four. Scars, two or one. Um, Home Sweet Home, two and a half. Ruler of the Winds and Sands, two and a half. And Reunion, two? I gave two. I don't, I don't suggest it. It's fucking weird and it's just not very good. Some of them were good, but 
I think overall, I'm just going to give this two stars because I just don't want to think about this book again. And I'm never going to think about it again, except for the first, the first one, the head, I will think about that forever because I was so fucking disgusting. Like that was gross and the fuck, but all the rest of them. Okay. Whatever. Finish that. And then I also finished Book Lovers. Was I so, I got so much shit done on these friends. <sighs> I finished Book Lovers. And it really had me going there. It really had me going. It had me fucking going. I was there. I was loving it. I was living. I was laughing. I was loving. I love Charlie and I love Nora. I will stick to that. I think their banter was amazing. I love their relationship. I loved the, um, so he's an editor and she is a um, literary agent. Finally nailed that down. Uh, but she wants to be an editor. Anyway, I was digging it. And then I looked at my phone and was like, I'm 57% of the way in. And I feel like the book should be done now. What? And then when I got to 69% of the way in, I was like, why are we still talking? Like, all the things that normally, like, end a romance book have occurred. And we're still talking. Like, I, I'm, I'm not really totally sure. And it definitely did divert into, like, the sister relationship, which was good. Like, the sister relationship was good. But that's not what I went into the book for, and it's not enough to make up a book. Like, you, you're you supposed to be there for the Charlie and Nora relationship, and Charlie isn't even there for a lot of the last third of the book. He's, like, not even on page. The fuck? Like, I'm still going to give it three and a half stars because I really enjoyed a lot of this book. Like, there's a lot of it I really enjoyed. But why did you keep fucking talking? I was like... Oh, uh, Emily Henry, you fucking had me. There should have been all the stuff in the end should have been in the beginning because things happen way too fast. Like, ow, I bit my tongue. Things happen way too fast. Anyway, I forgot to tell you that on the sprints, I was joined by Brie, Mayana, and Kayla, which was so amazing. So I, I think, it, I don't remember what time, I think it was like six hours in and they started joining me and that really helped me push my way through. But I do have to work tomorrow, and it is 3.30 a.m. So I need to start my two-hour wind down before I go to sleep. So I don't know if I'll pick another book up. Uh, I guess I'll finish these last two pages and watch some book two. But other than that, I am going to leave for the night because I am so fucking tired. <laughs> Hello, it is Thursday. I forgot to say anything yesterday on Wednesday. Well, I forgot, but also I didn't have time because um, after sprinting for 12 hours, whoo, that is a record that I doubt and kind of hope I never supersede. Um, I was so tired. I stayed up until like almost 6 a.m. that day. And then the next day I woke up at 2.45 p.m. And I had to work and I leave for work at 3 p.m. So I just threw my clothes on, went to work yesterday. And I ended up being there pretty late because I was on the patio and it was a beautiful day out yesterday as it is today as well. I haven't checked the radar. So hopefully it's not gonna rain. Let's knock on some wood. Um, but it is a beautiful day today. And I was on the patio, so I, my section was popping, okay, and I ended up yesterday, I began the audiobook for the Bromance Book Club, and it is very fast, and I was kind of worried I wasn't going to like it, because Grace said that she didn't like the narrator, which luckily I'm not having a problem with. I enjoy the narrator, I think he's fine. Um, he's not really, I mean, I don't like the way he narrates the younger sister Liv, because it is too young, and like, um, if you hurt my sister, I'm going to kill you. And I'm like, okay, but like, it's fine. It's not a big deal, but I'm actually really enjoying it. And it is very easy to get through. Uh, it is, a, I mean, I'm sure you already know what it's about. It's very popular, but if you don't, it is about this guy who his wife asks for divorce <laughs> after they've had a really like rough go of it for the past like a couple years of their marriage. And he has just now found out that she has been faking it instead of actually having orgasms. And of course his manlyhood is like stripped bare. And he is a very famous um, 
baseball yeah baseball player I was like he's in sports what does he do he's a baseball player and he's rich and he's famous for that and everything and he is going through it and his friends in different I mean I don't think they're all baseball players but some of them are anyway they kind of pull him aside and they're like we uh I'm sorry I just <laughs> I'm so distracted today I just was like I just ran my fingers through my hair and I was like I cannot put that on the floor I have not taken my ADHD medication. I don't know if you freaking noticed. Anyway, what were we talking about? My dishwasher's loud. Sorry about it. Uh, the Bromance Book Club. His friends are like, pull him aside. And they're like, you need to come to our Bromance Book Club. And he's like, the fuck is that? And they're like, this is going to help you with your marriages or whatever. This is going to help you get Thea back. And they say, you need to read these romance, like Regency romance um, from like, like the 16, 1800s, you need to read these. And this is going to tell you what women want, because we have been conditioned as men to not talk about feelings, to not be romantic, to not do these things because it's seen as weak, but really this is what women want. And he's hesitant. But then now at the part I am right now, I think I'm on like chapter seven. He's like, okay, fine. Let's see. And I'm very intrigued. I think it's really cute. Um, I think the men are, um, they're really trying. They're like, listen, like they, they all drink like pumpkin spice lattes. And he's like, you drink those. And they're like, yeah. And this is another way that toxic masculinity is telling you that this, because women like it, you're being told that it's a woman thing and that it's not manly and you can't drink it. You can't do it. You can't partake in this, but try it. And he tries it and he's like, this is delicious. And they're like, yeah, you've just been told not to order it because it's, frivolous or whatever. And I'm like, that's really cool. I like that. Anyway, that was like the longest update ever. But I do also need to tell you that I began yesterday while I was in standstill traffic. Should you read while you drive? No. But arguably, should you read while you walk around a neighborhood? Probably no, but I do it anyway. Um, I started Confessions by Kane Minato. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this is a translated work. Oh my God. It says, if Albert Canvas had written Heathers, it would have looked a lot like this. <laughs> that's amazing I did not know that I am on page 22 I started this and this um as far as I know so far is about a teacher a middle school teacher whose daughter has recently passed away and she is leaving teaching but before she leaves she rounds up all of her middle school middle grade students and is like hey, by the way, um, I put in my two weeks notice, but we need to have a conversation because one of you killed my daughter. And I'm like, ah! like, I just got to the part. It's only 22 pages in and it's in the summary. So I don't think it's a spoiler, but I just got to the part where she says that. And I'm like, oh my God, the fuck. So I'm enjoying it. I'm not enjoying that all the chapters are 55 pages long. Why do authors do? Anyway, um, I just woke up to find out that I don't work today on a Thursday, which is fucking weird. Like that never happens. And I texted Grace just now and was like, did we have plans? Because it's the only reason I would have requested off. Like I wouldn't have requested off what for myself. <laughs> Hilarious. No, but she hasn't responded yet. Otherwise I'm really confused why I'm not working today, but happy to see it. So I am going to, I was about to say treat myself. I do this every fucking day, but I'm not going to go to Dunkin'. I'm going to go to Starbucks because I want to get their toffee nut latte. Like li listen, I can't, I have nothing to say for myself. I don't anymore. Don't do what I do. Do as I say, not what I do. Do not spend all your money on coffee, but I do it. Anyway, I'm going to do that. And I think I might go buy a half price books because I kind of want to see if they have a hardcover of the Atlas six. Anyway, longest update of all time. Um, let's get to it. I 
Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what? What, are you kidding me? This is so freaking cute. And then um, I put this on Instagram and Marisol already responded and was like, oh my God, that's from me, you already got it. And I'm like, Marisol, what? Like Marisol and um, her cousin, I always wanna say sister, I think it's her cousin. Um, they are the ones that did that misery. I don't want to show our address. Good God. Um, show they did the misery box for me. So I'm going to open it and oh my God, I'm so fucking excited. Like I can't even describe. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my God. Look at that. That is stunning. We love a Tetris moment. This is like beautifully stacked in here. This is stunning. Good God. Okay. The, huh. I'm like transported. This is stunning. Oh, handwriting. Amazing. Hey, Katie, my cousin. Thank you. Rebecca and I decided to send you another box, this time with gifts and blind dates with books. Hold on. What? We hope you liked them as much as we did. Everything inside was thought out with you in mind. Enjoy. Marisol. FYI, we just love being part of your Patreon. Your videos make us happy. Oh, that is so freaking cute. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. There's blood sugar snacks. Love to see it. There is, what is this? It's cute. It's like a little pre packaged. What is this? Oh, it's a, oh, that's so cute. Oh my God, and it's pink and black. That is fucking precious. Y'all gotta stop. Y'all better stop. Are you, and there's a little tassel. That is my brand <gasps> it's from novel wicks oh my god stop it oh reading by the fire firewood in a good book that is stunning that is stunning oh my god this is the prettiest candle i've ever seen in my goddamn life that is so beautiful oh my god i love novel wicks that's amazing okay so there's there, oh my god what? oh dear lord this is a lot of books oh my god marisol rebecca y'all Y'all did not, y'all did not need to be going this hard. Like, this is insane. Oh, wait. There's one for Grace and there's one for me. What does it say? This is, Rebecca, what the fuck? Look at how amazing this writing, that's, that is psychopathic right there. That's the best writing I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Like, are you okay? Like, this is, I need to frame this. This is insane. Like, look at how tiny the writing is compared to my fingers. What? It says, Katie, I have made you and Grace a gift. I just learned how to sew. So you two will have the first three I have ever made. I hope you enjoy them. The two I made you are inspired by your Patreon group, and the one for Grace reminded me of the cat skirt you almost gave her. Be Becky. Becky. What the fuck are you talking about? Becky. Oh, they're book sleeves. They're books. Oh, my God. I am obsessed. This is so goddamn cute. Like, what the fuck? This is precious. I'm obsessed with the colors. Like the freaking, not mural. What am I talking about? I don't know. It's so cute. Look at the inside. Bitch, is this a goddamn joke? Made with love by Becky. Becky, this is so fucking cute. I am obsessed. Like this is so goddamn cute. Stop. Oh my God, I can't wait for Grace to open this one. I think I might walk over here in a little bit and give it to her because I want to give her my copy of Loveless because she got the audiobook. And I was like, you cannot read this book without reading my annotations. So that might be happening today. Of the four that she sent, two of them say graphic novel. And I'm like, I want to open both of these and read them on Reading Spence right now. So this one says, 
Blind Date with a Book, Graphic Novel, Fantasy Horror, New Girl, Pretty Little Liars meets Teen Wolf with They Never Learn vibes, bitch. Literally, you could have just said one of those things and I would have been invested. Okay, let's see what she sent. Oh, I've never heard of this. Squad, anyone would kill to belong. Bitch, I don't... This looks... Okay, it looks dope. It looks very, like, Riverdale-ish. I mean... Oh, no, Archie. Sorry. That's what I'm thinking of. This looks dope. Okay, I'm reading this today. Reading this in this freaking reading vlog. Bet me that I won't. Um, and then we have Blind Date with a Book, Graphic Novel, Modern Fairy Tale, Paris Explores Identity. Okay. I love things that are wrapped. And like, giving me hints as to what it is first. Stunning. <gasps> This is on my wish list. This is on my wish list. The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jin Wang. I love this tone. Like, this art tone is so fucking stunning. I'm so excited. I'm definitely reading this today. Thank you so much, Marisol. Like, I have been wanting to read this for so long. And I'm impatient, and I just want to know what they are, because I've already, I'm already so excited to read those two. And these two seem pretty small, and I'm like, how many can I read in one day, is my question. So this one is... Fiction, Traveling Librarian, Appalachian Setting, Literacy Over Bigotry, and Inspired by True Events. Say what? Oh, okay. What is it? The Book Woman of Troublesome Creek. I have never heard of this, but that sounds amazing. Like the little blurbs that they gave. Also, this is the floppiest paperback I've ever fucking felt. This is amazing. Cozy Mystery, Humorous, Undercover, Louisiana Bayou, and Woman Sleuths. Absolute bet. Oh my fucking God. Okay, wait. This one is the most exciting. The most exciting thing. Let's see. <gasps> wait, this is... My mom loves this! The Louisiana Longshot by J Jana Delion. My mom is obsessed with these books. She's read like all of them. She's gonna be so fucking excited. Alligators are no longer the deadliest thing on the bayou. My mom talks about these books all the time. I'm pretty sure that this is also the series that Olivia talks about all the time. CIA assassin Fortune Redding is about to undertake her most difficult mission ever in sinful Louisiana. This is definitely the one that Olivia talks about all the time. This is freaking crazy. Marisol, I am literally obsessed with you and Rebecca. Like, Rebecca, I'm obsessed with your handwriting. But oh my god, y'all are so cute. Like, this shit is so exciting. It's so exciting. You made my fucking day. You made this whole vlog. You made this whole vlog a freaking success. This is amazing. I'm gonna start reading um, at least the two graphic novels tonight. And then I might pick this one up. I might see if my um, library has the audiobook because that would be amazing. Like, I want to hear that, like, southern accent grandma. This is... Y'all are so nice. I'm like just staring at this stuff, like what the fuck? Y'all are so nice and cool. And I can't handle it. Y'all are so amazing. <sighs> okay, I need to tell you though about reading, okay? Where is my book? Hmm. Um, I truly, I truly have no idea. Um, I got 50 pages into my book while I was in traffic. I can't prove it. Oh, here it is. I can prove it. Here we go. I got this far into the book while I was in traffic because traffic today was fucking crazy because I went to, so I went to a Kaiser because I needed to get um, prescriptions and then I also needed to get my A1C checked. So get my blood taken. And I went to one Kaiser and they were like, oh, you can't fill your prescription here. You have to go to this other one that was like 20 miles away. And I was like, fuck. So I went all the way there and then I had to wait to get my blood drawn. So I was reading my book. So I got to page 58 and oh my God, there was a plot twist that I was like, what the like, if the, the milk, if you know, the milk. I was like, ah, freaking out. And then now we're getting the perspective of, like, what are the classmates, I guess? And I'm, like, very confused. I, I don't know, but I'm digging it. I am, I'm liking it. And then I also, I finished the Bromance Book Club, and I really liked it. I thought it was really, it was really cute. Now, it wasn't like an, oh, my God, I, like, this is hot. Like, I really like, oh my God, I love these two characters together. Oh my God. But I liked both the characters out there. They're both very strong, very intelligent, cool, 
cool people. Um, so I think I'm going to give it four stars because I love that the book exists. I think that's a really cool look at toxic masculinity and how like men can identify it in themselves and in other men and try to negate it and like work past it. So I think that's really cool. I'm going to give it four stars. Definitely recommend. Very good. Um, I don't, I think that the next audiobook I pick up is going to be Hamnet, but I'm not totally sure. I need to pick up something because I'm going to start, um, sprinting here in a second but this has been I always say this is gonna be that every single break that I take to talk about books is the longest break I've ever taken but this one truly is this one truly is okay I'm gonna say goodbye goodbye okay so Marisol and Rebecca the ones who sent us the um misery box they sent uh, another box and it was like yeah. blind dates with books or whatever which I thought was really cute okay. but they sent this for Sabrina Ooh, gummy. Right? And I was like, I've never heard of that brand before. I'm like, where do they live? They look cute. And then this is for you. Okay. A little bath bomb, because uh, Grace likes, you know, treating mm -hmm. herself. Mm -hmm. And then I'm giving her, sorry, this camera angle is not great, but this is my copy of Loveless, which she has the, you have the audiobook or you're waiting for I it? I have it. Okay. Um, I thought it was going to flop. It didn't flop at all. Well, whenever you open it, like, because I've broken the spine completely. This is like Grace's favorite reading experience. <laughs> so don't worry about breaking anything <laughs> okay. in the book. Um, but just so you have that. Mm -hmm. And then I can hold that stuff if you want to. Okay. So, um, uh, Rebecca, the cousin, just started making this. She said she just learned how to sew, Ooh. and she said she made this with you in mind. Okay. Did you already know what's in here? No. Okay. Well, I know what it is. I don't know what it looks like. Okay. <gasps> oh, my God. That's amazing. That's so cool. That what's the inside sense. look like? Oh my god! I actually have some fabric that kind of almost looks like this, but it's like Christmas themed, but it's like Christmas cast. Oh my god, that's perfect. That looks so good and so soft. Come mine on. was bunnies, so she was like, oh, I made one with Grace in mind, and I was like, you nailed it! And I'm like, god, look at that, it says Made with Love from Becky. Aw, that's so cute. Thank right? You. Oh my gosh, well, let's see what the, bo what the book inside. Yeah. But that this one's probably for a hardback, so it's probably big for that. That's perfect. You could fit that and your journal. <laughs> <laughs> just an example yeah. of one what one, one might do i love it yay that's so cute thank you i'm out here sprinting with these schmucks we've got rusty nail ass butt and live marg gleam she's way too on her shit <laughs> and then we just have margaritas um my computer's frozen again god damn it what is, oh my god that was oh <gasps> I'm so glad I got this on camera so y'all can see what I'm fucking dealing with every goddamn day. <sighs> anyway, um, we're going to pretend like it's not happening for a second. I got to page 66, um, but somebody told me to sample the audiobook, So I'm going to do that. And then I downloaded Hamnet. So I might start reading that as well. But the girlies are drinking. And I have made myself a double mezcal margarita. And everybody on, like, what was it? Um, oh God, I just can't. Okay, I'm going to go and try to fix that. We love. Olivia! Olivia. I'm sorry. Let me, let me, wait. Olivia, Olivia. How dare would I ask if you want to join and you say, it's not a good time right now. But then when I say Jordan's coming on, you're like, never mind, I'll join. I'm going to send this petty bitch a link. Fucking, I swear to God. Your Honor? Your <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm in trouble because of you. What? <laughs> yeah, you got Olivia in trouble. For what? Because I asked Olivia if she wanted to join the stream, and she said, <laughs> yeah, it's not a good time right now. And then when I said on the stream you were joining, she was like, actually, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, I didn't even try to hide that one. Um... <laughs> okay. I'll show I love you so much. <laughs> Anyways, it's our show now, bitch. So it is, on. yeah. <laughs> not Kayla not responding um... to my Instagram oh. message. Okay. You really are in a fighting mood. Let's talk about it. Oh Let's talk. Literally, 
Well, she hasn't even seen it. Never mind. Here's 36. the thing. You have two cancers right now. So all your feelings you need to ever discuss, we're here. We color coordinating? Wait. Wait. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We match your hair, Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go full tilt crazy. About, I'm not holding it back. Going anymore. to go. I'm literally <laughs> already <yes>. there. <laughs> Oh my God! Did y'all see the balayage that um, that Gabby just got? Because uh, yeah, it already screamed in her DMs. Where is she? Wait, Why what? haven't Kayla haven't and her that? joined us? What's happening? Yeah, Kayla. Well, Kayla <laughs> hasn't given us an excuse. That's what I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, weirdo. And then Kayla's gonna come on like drinking just straight whiskey. <laughs> Let me tell you about what I. <laughs> <laughs> Banana milk is also hot garbage. That well, the U.S. doesn't have to deal with that apparently. You never have how do you banana you, milk? How do you milk a banana? <laughs> don't ask questions. You don't want the answers. To. I genuinely want the answer because there's like not even an inside to that. No, it's like you know those like little banana marshmallows. No. What? We're going further. Okay. See, we don't have health insurance or <laughs> banana milk. You guys can't afford to risk your health with little marshmallows. Wait, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if somebody else in Canada has heard of this. Okay. But like... Hey, bitches! <laughs> she did it. She fucking did it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, Kayla might know what I'm talking about. She has to. Wait, has do to you win. know those little like banana marshmallows? I love those banana marshmallows. Thank you. Okay, the Canadians rise. <laughs> Wait, are we talking about measuring cups or just where the just silver goes? I think we're just talking about spoons. I was about to ask you to put it in your mouth to show me how big it is. <laughs> oh, wow. Bestie, you're not muted. Oh, fuck. Kayla's like, I've been drinking dyed what wait. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. I'm terrified. Whenever I get the first letter right, I'm like, oh my god, did I get it right? <laughs> oh, she got it in two. Wait, don't, don't tell us what it is. I don't want to know. If you spoil it, I will kill myself on camera. <laughs> Literally. Okay. I take Wordle so seriously, I can't even explain it to you. In the context of what you're threatening that for, it's amazing. For an Aries? For an Aries? Imagine the articles books of Lala kills herself after Wordle. I literally will go to sleep at 11 and set my alarm for 11.59 so I can play Wordle. <laughs> Why, hello. I believe it is Saturday. I could conceivably be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that I filmed on Thursday, didn't film at all on Friday, and that today is Saturday. I'm 95% of the way sure. Um, I'm working, obviously. I'm just early to work. But yesterday, did I start an audiobook? No. Oh my God. Okay. So on Friday and all day today, all I've done is read fan fiction because I fell down this rabbit hole and I need to talk about it because I need y'all to recommend me books. Okay. I fell down this rabbit hole of suits. <laughs> the show suits. Okay. So I saw this freaking TikTok, uh, this reel of Donna and Harvey from suits. And I was like, Oh my God, they are so hot. Wait. And I went on YouTube and I've been watching every single clip of them together. Like literally every single clip that they interact. I don't care what the fuck they're talking about. Anytime they're in the scene together. And there's nine seasons. Bitch, I'm living my best life. I'm living my best life. I'm like, I don't think I have the attention span to watch nine seasons of the show like throughout because I don't actually care about their like court cases. But when I tell you this is my shit, every single thing that happens between them is iconic. It's my trope. It's amazing. I'm fucking obsessed. Like, oh my God. Like, I love this, like, fucking powerful, rich, badass, cold, fucking lawyer man being brought to his knees by this hot, redhead, 
fucking intelligent secretary. She is everything. She's everything. Like, he's, like, so powerful, okay? He's so powerful, and he'll literally go to, like, his bosses or his boss's boss and be like, uh, yeah, I'll work for you, but you have to bring Donna. And they're like, oh, well, this position doesn't have a secretary. And he's like, I don't care. Uh, if I'm not going without her. And literally he does that so many times. Like every single time something happens, he's like, or, or if Donna wants to quit, he's like, where are you going? Cause I'll quit right now. I'll leave and go with you because you matter more to me than this. And I'm like, oh my God, it's so good. But they're not even like together. Like they're not together. They're just soulmates. <laughs> Bitch, I die. I die. Erin and I were like, I was um, talking on her live yesterday and I was freaking out about it. She was like, oh my God, I love suits. I was like, I need recommendations. Please, if anybody loves them, and knows recommendations of like a fanfic KU book series that like have that trope in it. I am fucking. I read like a 17 chapter of fanfiction of them today before I came to work. Yet another reason why I haven't filmed anything because I haven't been reading anything. Because literally yesterday I was annoying everybody so much. Like there was one girl that was la like laughing so hard. Like Katie, stop. Every time someone would walk by, I'd be like, have you ever seen the show Suits? I want to talk about it, but the show's been over for like four or five years or something so like nobody's talking about it but like when I tell y'all it's hot when I tell you it's hot it's so hot I'm obsessed I'm obsessed okay anyway hi um I finished confessions and I'm gonna hold off on like my review and everything like that because we are doing the live show I don't actually at this point know when the live show is but that's happening at some point I enjoyed it that's all I'll say We'll save the rest. I might actually reread it before the live show because it is a pretty short book. But I just picked up The Prince and the Dressmaker by Jen Wang. I've only read like four or five pages of it, honestly. But I love the coloring in this book. Like, wait, let me, let me look. But this page fucking got me. I'm obsessed. Look at that dress. Ah! Like, I love it. So all I know so far is that we're following a girl named Frances and she is like a dressmaker. And then I don't know who he's going to be, but I think it's like the prince that the parents are like trying to marry off. I have no idea, but I am going into work. I'm assuming I will not be leaving early. I'll probably be here for the long haul because it is a Saturday night and we don't have the strongest people on the floor tonight. So, and then the guy that's closing Never does any side work and never wants anybody to go home. So I'm like, oh, whatever. And I don't really have anybody to talk to. We're not really anybody fun working today. Literally in this time when I'm like, whenever I check the schedule to see who's working and if it's people that are like not fun and interesting, I'm like, okay, well maybe one of them is going to be having like a life problem. Like that happened the other day where I was bored because there was nobody interesting that I was working with. And there was one girl who was like having a fight with her boyfriend. And I was like, let's talk about that. Okay. What did he say? How did he say it? Okay, so this is his fighting technique. Okay, so this is what you're going to say. Like, that is interesting to me. Do I want a romantic relationship? No, but do I love solving people's romantic problems? Yes. Analytically. They're probably looking at me like, are you like a physician? Like, why do you look like that? There's a guy walking. He's walked by so many times with his dog. Like, why don't you go out into the sunshine and walk your dog? Why are you walking in a parking? Anyway, okay, I am going to read some of this book and then I'm going to go to work and I will talk to you later.
I'm honestly not even gonna try any harder on this car angle. Uh, I'm surrounded by cars right now, so inevitably someone is gonna see this. But I wanted to pop in because I had two packages at my PO box, which uh, one of my lovely patrons had told me to be on the lookout for this box. It's a tumbler. I don't, I, don't even, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. It's like, I don't even want to show you because it's like so cool. Like you're going to be so fucking jealous. Okay. There is a book stack of my favorite books and favorite authors. Okay. Bunny, No Exit, Layer of Dreams, A Dowry of Blood, The Push, Plain Bad Heroines, The Nightingale, All of Us Villains, Theodore Goss, just Theodore Goss in general, Loveless and the Diviners. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Look at that. And then wait. Oh my God, it's me. That's me. Look at me. Look at this. Oh my, I love that I'm in all black. She fucking knows me. Oh my God. Thank you so, oh my God. Uh, who made this? And she's reading, I'm reading Bunny. I'm reading Bunny. Look at, that's me. That's me. These are my favorite books. I am so, so, so grateful. I'm grateful. I'm appreciative. I love you. Love all of you, but I love you. Oh my God. This is so fucking cool. Like I'm about to call my mom and call Grace and tell them about this because I need to brag. This is so fucking dope. Oh, I recognize this. This is the other box. And this is from Christina Eastlake. And I know this is one of my patrons because I remember her name from when I sent her her bunny letter, her duchess letter. And this is sent from her. This is not from Amazon. So this could truly be anything. Oh, wow. This, this camera angle just keeps getting worse. Um, open first. <gasps> Stop. That is so fucking cool. Oh my God. That is dope. Okay. Katie, I hope you enjoy this box of goodies. Some of them I got on my trip to New York City. Good for you, Christina. Good for you. Oh, your life of wine and books. Okay, thanks you. Thank you so much for putting your Instagram handle because every time I see your um, life of wine and books on Discord and on the sprints, I'm always like, "What do I call you, Christina?" Got it. Um, I hope you enjoy everything. I felt I left you a note with the books explaining them a little bit. I also hope you can use some of these treats to upgrade your letter writing. I love that. I love that. Dear, oh, oh, bitch, did you see Dear Evan Hansen? Lucky bitch. Lucky bitch, Christina. I did not see it, but now I'm going to tell everybody that I did. Thank you. What is this? It's a bunny. To seal, to seal letters? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, am I this bougie of a bitch? I'm sorry. All you're getting is... You're not getting any angles, that's for sure. But this is stunning. I need to get like wax. I don't know how you do it. Like, I don't know how you do it, but I'll get wax. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's the wax! Ah! Oh my god, that's so stunning! Oh, I'm totally doing this, Christina. You just upped the motherfucking game. I'm gonna be sending all of my the latest round of Duchess letters that I still need to do. Absolutely gonna do that. Okay, I think I've heard of Adam Neville. I think he wrote no one gets out alive and join line said it's so good okay it says like you i've been on a search for ghost books with actual ghosts aka no scooby-doo bullshit and all <laughs> and call it this was recommended to me at barnes and noble and it really is scary enjoy look at that is terrifying oh uh, hold the fucking phone girl hold the fucking phone girl I'm sorry this isn't a copy of Bunny. <laughs> you know I have too many copies of Bunny. But once you turn to the page I flagged, you'll see why I had to get it for you. 
What? Okay, I gotta put your sticker on the inside one. I gotta marvel at how fucking stunning this book is. I read it and I loved it. Stunning, beautiful. Oh, Mona Lodge is such a fucking weirdo. She's such a weirdo, I love it. Okay, she tabbed. Okay, now I see. Now I see why you said that you wish it had, it had been bunny. It's fucking signed by Mona Wad. Mona Wad has put her hands on this book, signed her name, and now my hands are on it. I could possibly gather some of Mona Awad's DNA from this book and create my own Mona Awad. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, are you fucking kidding me? That is so dope. Christina, Christina got me Mona Awad's signature. I'm like freaking out. Oh my gosh, from the Strand. <gasps> this is from New York. Oh my God. This is from the Strand bookstore. I don't know if this one's from the Strand. That's so fucking cool. I've never been to the Strand, even though I've been to New York City twice. The fuck was I doing? Never been to the Strand. I, Christina, you were amazing. You were amazing. This is so fucking cool. I'm elated. These are like the best packages that I've ever received. Like point blank. I feel like y'all get better and better every fucking time. Like literally every package I open, y'all up the game somehow. I'm so surprised that nobody has come into either of these cars. The universe is looking out for me today. This is so, so dope. I cannot begin to thank you guys enough. Like, I really can't. You are so special to me and I love that I'm special to you. Like, that's so fucking cool. But I am literally just in my car screaming <coughs> and choking and dying. Um, so I am gonna let you go and get back into the video because I'm freaking out. Obviously, we're kind of living for this angle at this point. Like, at this point, I'm not even apologizing anymore. We're kind of living for it. Okay, it is 12.08, which means that it is officially Monday, but like I haven't gone to sleep yet, so we're gonna consider it Sunday. Okay, I worked all day yesterday, worked all day today, you know, and I did that whole like toxic trait of waking up like 10 minutes before I have to go to work. Love it for me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so. I have read though, I just didn't film or talk about it because I don't film when I'm in my uniform because, or I like put a flannel over it or something because I don't want any freaking sickos trying to find out where I work because you don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. That's terrifying. Anyway, so I listened to the audiobook of Dancing at the Pity Party, which if you have been a real fan for a freaking minute, you know that I tried to read this. Um, as a graphic novel, I read, I read like a quarter of it and was like, I don't care. This is so slow. It's boring because in the graphic novel, there's just so many pages that have no words on it or like words over and over and over again. Just like the same thing over and over and over, like yoga poses for grief or like different hairstyles her mom had or something. And I was so bored. But then when I saw that the audiobook was immediately available and it was only two hours long, I listened to it and like I didn't listen to it quickly. It actually took me like two days or something to, to listen to it, but I really enjoyed it. I'm gonna give it four stars. Um, I definitely cried listening to it, but like cry like cried thinking about like this person or like them <laughs> being Grace. Um, so it's about a girl whose mother dies of cancer when she's 19 and she has younger sisters, and it's like a really big deep dive into like what grief looks like and for different people and like how like there's just so many like special things that she talks about like there are moments when she talks about that she feels bad because she was 19 when her mother died but her siblings were younger than that and like don't have as many memories with her and that she feels like she stole like that those were stolen from her siblings and that she has them and like that they were like under 15 when her mother died so she got to understand like going through puberty and having a mom and they didn't and I thought that was really special it's a really good book um I'm gonna give it four stars because it did half it took me having to listen to the audiobook to love it when the physical reading experience I had to dnf it because there was just so much of the book that like didn't I don't want to say didn't matter but didn't matter to me like there was just a lot of it that I was like oh my Jesus, can we like move on? Like why is there so much stuff? But anyway, then 
talking about graphic novels, that got me in a real graphic novel kick. So on Saturday, I told you already that I picked up The Prince and the Dressmaker. I finished it today, and it is a lengthy boy, but it's so damn good. I see why this is on so many people's lists. I see why so many people have rated this so well. It is fantastic. It is so good. Like, oh my God. I don't know if I already told you, but this is about a prince who is family. Like his parents are very interested in him getting betrothed, getting set up with someone. And they're like, listen, we were set up like by our parents. We didn't have a choice. We're giving you a choice on who you're going to marry. But they didn't see coming that he doesn't want to marry any of those girls. And that he is... Okay, so it's interesting the prince is not his name's sebastian he's not transgender but he likes drag so he is a he but he likes dressing up as a woman and that's very interesting he finds this girl francis who is a very talented uh seamstress and creates these amazing gowns they're very different like weird very different and he basically hires her on the low to like be a seamstress to his identity his drag identity as Lady Cristalia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but Lady Cristalia. He like creates this person and she creates gowns for him so that he can go out, dress as a woman and pretend to be her. But then he gets all this praise. Like all these people are like, oh my God, he becomes like a fashion icon basically because of her dresses and all the youth, like all the girls are looking to him um, for inspiration, not knowing it's a prince. It is so good. Like it's so sweet. It's so good. Like, literally, like, I just loved it. I loved it so much. Anyway, yeah. Love this book. I'm going to give it five stars. And then this... Okay, so these two were sent to me at the same time by the same person. And they fucking know me. They know me. They know me so well. I'm like, damn. This fucking hit. Okay. So this book... Excuse me. Squad by Maggie Takuda Hall and Lisa Sterl. I had no idea what this was about, never heard of it. Whereas this one actually had on my wish list for a while and I knew what it was about. This one, I've never heard of this book. Why have I never heard of it? I don't know. Why does it only have like a 3.8 or something on Goodreads? Homophobia. That's all, homophobia. That's all I can think, misogynistic shit. That's all I can think of why this one have a better rating. But I did not read the back of this and I'm so glad because then later when I did read the back of it after I was done, I was like, oh yeah, that would have spoiled like... <laughs> what I was so shocked by but it's in the, it's in the summary so I talk about it even though like to me it would have been a spoiler because I didn't know what was gonna happen but okay it's called squad okay you know I probably could have gathered what was gonna happen by the cover um by like the wolves in the background but I didn't even pay attention I was just like oh squad cool I took it to work today and I read the entire thing at work because we were slow as shit it's Sunday I read the whole thing at work and I was shook. I fucking loved this graphic novel. I loved it so much. I'm literally like, why is this only one graphic novel? Like, I wanted a series. What the fuck? Okay. We're following this girl. Okay. She <coughs> starts at this new school. And the second she starts, she... There's a girl in the bathroom, Marcy, who um, is like please, you have a tampon? And she's like, yeah, absolutely. Like, here you go. And they have this, like, kind of feminist, like, moment of, like, I understand what you're going through, you know? Gives her a tampon, is like, yeah, I understand, blah, blah, blah. And I loved that, like, that moment of, like, I don't know, it was just so girl... Yes. So, that happens, and then the girl that she offers a tampon to is like, you're awesome. You should join me for lunch. But it turns out that this girl is insanely popular. She's part of, like, the clique of girls that are super popular at the school. She brings her into this clique and is like, hey, ladies, wink, I think she is worth our time. But she doesn't know what she's getting into. She's like, oh, okay, cool, y'all like me? Got it. But then these girls are, like, taking her out shopping, buying clothes for her, getting her to dress like them, and is like, no, 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 it's okay, it's on me. It's on my credit card. It's very, like... Heathers, it's very bunnies, it's like very mean girls, you know? And for the for the longest time, you're like, oh yeah, 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 cool, cool, cool. Like it's just this rich click, got it. But then boom! A bitch turns into a fucking werewolf! And she's a werewolf! I was like, what? I should have known that shit. Are you like hello? Duh. Duh. But she turns into a fucking werewolf. I was like, say what? Okay. Turns into a werewolf. 
And basically what their deal is, is that they have to feed once a month. And what they do is they go to parties, like high school parties or college parties, either one, and find a man that is reprehensible, like a frat boy that's like disgusting. And they fucking kill them together and eat his heart. I am deceased. That's amazing. Also, gay. 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 Are you kidding me? Gay. It is so... I was reading this. I had no idea, even though it definitely tells you. It says it's sapphic on Goodreads. I was reading this and I was like, this girl, she give me the vibes. She's steady giving me the vibes. With like a barely any context, I was like, I don't know. I think she might be gay. And then boom. She gay. Like uh, five stars. Why does this have such a low rating? I don't understand. This is iconic. This is iconic. Stunning. Beautiful. Five stars. Glory to the world. Anyway. I am going to call it a wrap. I have read many things this week. Very proud of myself. Hello. And now I'm like, damn, I need more graphic novels. Like, what do you think is amazing? Because I'm like, is anything going to be better than this? I don't know. Stunning. Two five stars in a row. We love to see it. Uh, tell me down below if there's any that you're like, Katie, trust me. It's so good. You have to read it. Especially if it's a standalone because I get kind of worried about series where I'm like oh my god am I gonna forget like when I read Saga and then I like forgot about it and then now it's continuing and I'm like oh yikes so cool um all of that to say what should we leave as the emoji what should we leave I don't think there's a werewolf emoji there might be a wolf emoji we could leave a dress or a wolf you choose leave a dress for the prince and the dressmaker or leave a wolf for squad or both? Shit. I'm not limiting you, sis. Do whatever you need. But leave that down below if you've gotten this far into the video to let me know that you're a real fan. You're a real fan. You can follow me on Patreon if you feel so inclined. I mean, we're kind of killing it over there, to be honest. So you can do that if you feel so inclined. I also have my Instagram and my Goodreads link down below if you want to, you know, join that. I also have a lot of links down below if you feel so inclined. If you ever wanted to join Libro, please use my link because it gives me a free credit toward an audiobook. And you know your girl loves audiobooks. You already fucking know your girl loves audiobooks. So please take part in that down below. Thank you so much. If you ever wanted to gift me an audiobook, I do have the, my email address link down below. If you ever feel so inclined, no press. You know what I'm saying? Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate you. This is probably taking the cake for the longest update of all time. I, I swear every time I say it's the longest update, it gets more and more every time. We're on like 14 minutes now. Anyway, I hope that you are having an amazing day, evening, night, dusk, dawn, whatever it is you're having right now in whatever part of the world you are currently having it in. And I will see you in a video coming very soon. Bye.